We're out here in Shawnee on Yoakum Road at New Life Church with Pastor Charlene Williams. Glad to have you here today. Thank you for having me. Thank we're, you. We're in your sanctuary and it looks kind of empty. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How does that feel to you? I mean, as a, as a pastor, you and your husband co-pastors, how does that feel when you're so, you, it takes so much energy from your congregation. I mean, they give yes. it to you every week and, and you're not getting that now. Yes, it's very difficult, to mm -hmm. be very honest with you. It's very difficult because there is that, our, our congregation is very connected. Mm -hmm. We're very family oriented and um, not having that connectivity, physical connection, right. is very, very difficult. Um, we call each other, we talk to each other. There are okay. a lot of things that we're doing mm -hmm. to keep connected, but that hug and that high five yeah. and that just sitting down around the church and, mm -hmm. and just hanging out, yeah. it's, it's, it's very hard. So how, how are you staying connected with them? I mean, you, you're, you're on a live stream, right? Yes, mm -hmm. yes, we're on live stream. We're a couple of times a week, just almost sometimes every day. We're really? putting something out there, different members of the church. Mm -hmm. We're doing little snippets of encouragement, like Tune Up Tuesdays and mm -hmm. different things like that. And then the people are interacting with us online. Mm -hmm. That is helping. We have a YouTube channel that um, they can okay. go to and get that also. So there's a variety of things. We're on Instagram. Um, so those are little areas we're trying to use to keep connected. Right. We also have where we have team leaders that are calling each other and keeping groups, small groups okay. going and all of that. So mm -hmm. it's helping. And your, your address online, New, New Life Lima? Yes, Luna, New Life Lima, um, dot com. Dot com, okay. Mm -hmm. People can contact you there. The, the church is very active. I mean, you, you yes. had the building in, in Lima on the corner of High and Coal, mm -hmm. and you were doing a food pantry there, and now that's, that's kind of missing, isn't it? You don't yes. want to put people at risk to, to yes. come into the food pantry. Yes, yes, that's hard because some of the people that go to the food pantry, they don't just not only go for food, mm -hmm. they go for the relationship, sure. just the conversations, mm -hmm. rubbing shoulders with somebody, just to sit down and maybe mm -hmm. have a cup of coffee. Mm -hmm. um, and it's hard for them right now. Right. So what we've done, we're doing bag lunches. Okay. Just to protect everyone and keep mm -hmm. safe, we're doing bag lunches so they can still come and get your bag lunches. Out of the yeah. church on North and Cole. Yes, right. North and Cole. But you also have... Cole and High Street, oh, Cole, Cole and High, yes. excuse me. I was going to a block backwards, Cole yes. and High Street. But you also had uh, 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 the... Uh, not the food pantry, but the soup kitchen going on. Mm -hmm. That was every Saturday. That's, and that's every That's a big Saturday. fellowship time too. Yes, it? Yeah. yes, it is. It was a just a lovely thing, and we're praying God that it comes back to that, mm -hmm. and it's just a period that we're in. We have sure. to look hopeful mm -hmm. that it's just a period. Yeah. So we are working with what we can right now, just giving bag lunches on Saturdays so everybody can still benefit from it. Uh, but we're believing the Lord that this passes yeah. and we can see everybody come back yeah. together again.